Hi all, Neil here. This is my Precision Matthews PM25 MV milling machine. One of the things that became apparent shortly after doing the CNC conversion was that I was losing about an inch travel on the y-axis due to the factory way cover for the z-axis. This prevents chips from getting into the onto the ways and also uh, into the hole where the lead screw and now the ball screw are located. You can see it's a fairly thick affair. Um, in some of my research I saw that uh, a fellow had used a pull-down shade with some uh, durable material as a replacement for the um, Z and Y axis uh, way covers. I felt that the Y cover was okay but that the Z axis certainly needed some help um, so what I did was to buy a roll, a pull-down rolling shade from one of the home improvement stores, happened to be Lowe's, cost about $10, replaced the um, shade material with neoprene, thin neoprene uh, sheeting, uh, 32nd inch or .032 inch thick, and uh, designed a few uh, 3D printed parts, there's an upper bracket here which holds the roll. You can see the one end of the roll uh, right there. And a clamp down at the bottom which has a 3D printed part and, and a nut plate that uh, clamps onto the flange. And you can see if I move the Y axis now full to its back, furthest back extent, uh, it tucks nicely in and under the, uh, the roll. Um, I can still move X and Y X uh, mo uh, direction, no problem. And uh, the nice part of this is that when uh, the Z axis moves up, it pays out the material as necessary and forms a nice thin barrier uh, preventing chips or any uh, oil or anything from getting into the, uh, the ball screw or onto the ways themselves and it will collect it. Now you can see if I pull on this how it has a nice springy uh, behavior. That's the uh, spring inside the uh, rolling shade uh, taking effect. If you're doing a job where you're not using a vise, uh, I'll move over to the far left here to simulate that. You can see how with the vise out of the way uh, you can move down to the full uh, limit that the machine provides. So this is the now the bottom of the Z motion. Uh, not a complex part, certainly not anything high tech. Um, it did give me back that almost inch of Y travel that uh, is quite precious on a small machine like this. So I put the parts up on Thingiverse.com. Uh, two printed. 3D parts, uh, 3D printed parts, and one nut plate. Uh, feel free to change it. And if you have comments or suggestions, uh, I encourage you to post them uh, up on YouTube. Thank you for viewing, and uh, I hope this is useful to you.